Wilmington City Council making progress on several large projects during a busy meeting on January 18th, including the Hooker Road multi-use path. The path will provide a safe biking and walking connection between UNCW, the Cross City Trail, and the bike lane on Wrightsville Avenue. Council requesting $2.4 million from the Wilmington Metropolitan Planning Organization with a $600,000 match from the city. In addition to the Hooker Road path, this will fund the Hinton Road multi-use path and Wrightsville Avenue and Greenville Avenue intersection improvement projects. Another way the city is improving pedestrian access is with sidewalk rehabilitation. Council expanding its contract with Jimco Construction by more than $420,000 for general replacement and repair throughout the city, as well as specific work on Wayne Drive, Forest Hills Drive, and Chippenham Drive. This includes $100,000 to install flex pave at selected locations downtown where tree roots have damaged the sidewalk. There's over 100 of those areas uh, identified, so uh, that's the material that's going to be used in, in those trip hazard zones where the metal great tree wells are not working. Flex pave will provide a safer walking surface and has been approved by the Historic Preservation Commission. Council also appropriating funds for a construction project at Legion Stadium relating to damage from Hurricane Florence. The project under we're discussing is to repair damaged concrete and stucco located at the home bleachers, the visitors bleachers, and the field house locker room uh, at Legion Stadium. Completion of the project will provide safer, stabilized, and waterproof structures and allow the city to move forward with additional interior repairs. For more on Tuesday's meeting, you can head to WilmingtonNC.gov. City Council will meet again on February 1st at 6.30 p.m.